Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. We have another best class setup video today. A lot of you seem to enjoy these videos, so I'm going to keep making them and keep requesting me what guns you want to see as well. I get a lot of requests on Instagram, not so much on YouTube, but feel free to comment below what gun you want to see next. But before we do start today's video, make sure everybody is hitting that subscribe button if you are new, smashing a like on the video if you do enjoy it as well. Uh, but anyway, straight into the class setup. Today's gun is going to be the P90, or I'm using the Smoke Show variant. So it's the 420 uh, variant that did release. So it looks kind of funky with all the weed all over the gun. Pretty cool. Um, like I always say, the perks, equipment and stuff are kind of optional. But I would, um, you know, I recommend to use EOD and Stimshot personally. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> hopping straight into class up for the muzzle, we have the monolithic suppressor. Don't know what it is. I just seem to really like suppressed weapons recently. I didn't like used to like them at the start of the game, but recently I'm really, really liking them. Anyway, into the stock, we have the fly strap, which increases sprint to fire speed, which is huge in this game, and also increases aim walking movement speed. But for me personally, I'm not really walking whilst aiming, so it doesn't really matter. Perk, as always, is a given. It's got to be a must. It's fully loaded. You run out of ammo way too quickly on this game, uh, especially if you're on a street. The last thing you want to do is run out of ammo and pick up somebody's gun, and it's got the wit. It's like a MP5 thermal scope. Something stupid like that and then you're just going to die, you know, people do rock some uh, weird class setups uh, and that's the last thing you need to be doing is picking up a uh, weird gun and ruining your streak. So fully loaded, make sure you've got enough bullets as you possibly can is a must. Rear grip, we have the stippled grip tape, increases aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Obviously, as you know, most of my class setups all are orientated around... Um, the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed. As in this game, it's so huge, you know, the time to kill is very, very uh, uh, small, you know, it doesn't take long at all to kill someone, so being able to get them first shots off and, um, you know, it can mean the difference between winning and losing a gunfight, so it's very, very important. The under barrel, we have the stippled grip tape, increases recoil control and aiming stability. Just because at the range, this thing is kind of a beam, I'll be honest, it is a beam. Uh, so being able to have a little bit increased recoil control and aiming stability means you can just beam that a little bit more easier. But anyway, that is a class setup, guys. So if you don't, if you want to screenshot it or do what you want to do to make sure you can save it and try it out for yourself. Uh, if you have a other recommendation, like what would you change this class setup, or if you have a different P90 setup, then let me know down in the comments below. I'll be sure to give it a try. But anyway, we're going to get straight into the gameplay. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Okay, guys, we are on kill confirmed on Kando Hideout. I really do enjoy this map to be honest and we're using the P90, um, honestly this gun right now is pretty decent, it is a, li a little bit of a beam as well to be honest, there's literally no recoil, but hopefully we can do something, oh I'm going to get shot in the back straight away as they'll come off the spawn, should have really fought ahead of that before I ran out of the uh, warehouse, so <clears throat> it's what it is, let's see for this kid, wow I thought I see four stuck to the top of this big uh, tank thing at first, there's another kill, I want to try and secure the VTOL straight off the bat. Hopefully we can do that. Let's hope. I don't even know this area existed, that little, that little bit at the side there. What the hell? I've got a UAV and I'm getting shot from somewhere I think, was I? I couldn't even tell. Call this UAV out. I'm literally just going to sit in here and hopefully try and kill them as they come in. Just to secure some streaks. We've got a precision air strike. Go on, this kid's coming flying in. Jesus Christ. One kill off a of VTOL right now, I'm so weak, I've got no stim. There's the VTOL, that kid literally just ran straight into me and hopefully I can push out of here now because I don't like sitting in little places like this. Because they are hunting me down, wow, they are hunting. Jesus, ah, no way I could have killed that kid, I was so weak. I didn't have another stim or anything, so thankfully we've got the VTOL off the bat. See where they're at, we'll call that in. Precision airstrike as well, still have not changed that from the officer rank challenges. But uh, it is double XP weekend this, oh my god, how did my own VTOL kill me there? How did, I was the opposite side of the map. What? But it is double XP weekend this week, so I want to be able to try and make sure I can uh, hit max rank. And try and get some officer rank challenges done. I don't actually have too many left, so um, should be a, a breeze. And uh, as soon as I hit max rank, I want to try and focus a little bit more on Warzone, bring some more Warzone content for you guys because I really do enjoy playing Warzone I'm just more I just prefer the multiplayer but I feel like once I've uh, hit max rank and got the officer rank challenges out of the way and uh, the obsidian camo obviously uh, then uh, we can uh, focus a little bit more on Warzone because I won't be too much left for me to do on multiplayer so I thought 
I might as well just uh, grind a little bit of Warzone. So, is what it is. Um, hopefully we can, uh, you know, get some decent Warzone games going as well. Maybe like some subscriber squads or something similar to that. Trios. Uh, they really need to add duos, to be fair. I can't believe they've not even added duos. Um, and it's rumoured to be that they've actually um, added it, going to add in tanks. Don't know how true that is. Um, to be honest, I would, that's probably going to be the worst thing ever if they had tanks into Warzone. That would actually be horrific. So I don't actually think that could, that's going to happen. Uh, definitely need to add bounties back in as well. I don't know why they'd remove bounties. It was such a big thing. It, like literally so such a great thing in the game really spiced it up and changed the flow of it at times especially when a bounty was given onto you or you was chasing a bounty that's for sure definitely was a change of pace <clears throat> two kills off another VTOL here so let's hope we can secure it I don't want to be rambling too much otherwise that's just how I'm going to choke let's call a precision air strike way over there hopefully they're spawning down there I'm hoping but I would definitely recommend trying this P90 class setup out for yourself. It is an absolute beast of a class setup. I was surprised as well. I really enjoyed using the P90 when going for Damascus. Um, and I always said to myself that like, I'd like to try this gun again. So glad I did. Because, uh, <clears throat> honestly, such a great weapon. You'd be surprised as well, to be fair. It reminds me a lot of the MP7 as well. It's got a lot of bullets in it and I'm shooting a bike. So it even is that a bike. Um... Because it's got a lot of bullets in the mag and it's literally no recoil, little to no recoil. I think the MP7 damage probably is a little bit higher. But, is what it is. And there's a guy in this room with me. Somewhere, there he is. One kill off a of VTOL. This game's pretty slow, or it is for me anyway. I'm probably, probably just playing extremely slow right now. There's a guy here, could I kill him? There we go. That's the second VTOL of the game. Decent, decent. And where is this other guy? He's coming around. There we go. Teammate, there we go. We'll take him. I've got no stim. Wow. Where are they? Okay, there's a guy behind me. The VTOL ping coming in clutch. Where's he gone? Where's this guy gone? Oh my god. That aim was awful. Oh my days, he's dropping down. We're merciless. We'll take it. Oh my days. I hate not having a stim because you're so weak for so long. Super annoying. Looks like they're spawning back here as well. See if I can catch anyone off the spawn. No. Oh my days! What? Can, why are you just sitting in a corner off a spawn? I really hate people who play like that. There's a guy still down there, man. Jesus. I just don't understand why he would sit down and spawn in the corner. That is so frustrating. I really don't get it. Ruining my day. Every time. There's a guy in a head glitch there. Wow. That's the kid who was in the spawn, I think. I'm not even sure. Just annoying. I hate getting killed by the ram as well. For some reason, the, everyone's using the ram recently that I'm coming up against. and it's, It seems an absolute beast, to be fair. But I mean, it was good when I uh, originally used it after unlocking it on the Battle Pass. I think it was Season 1. Um, but I never touched it since. Not really bothered. But definitely, if you want to use the DLC gun that's uh, overpowered, the Grau is definitely the one. No other one. I didn't even know you could get up here on this roof as well. There's a guy up here. Let me just kill that kid. Oh my days, is Kai guy long? Jesus, how did I not kill him? He must have been literally one bullet. One shot. That is such a shame. <clears throat> okay guys, this game is coming to a close. There's one tag left. Oh, there we go. As I die, 28 kills, just shy of 30 kills. Would have been nice to get 30, at least. But is what it is. Decent game, two VTOLs, P90 man. It's a beast. Okay guys, we're back in the lobby. This is the class setup one more time. I hope you guys do enjoy uh, using this class setup and let me know if you do use it. And if there's anything you would change, let me know down in the comments below. But I can't thank you guys enough for the support recently. We've gained over 100 subscribers this month alone. I think it's 107. So make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. It does mean loads. It does, really, really does. Um, can't stress it enough. Make sure you're smashing the like as well. Let me know any constructive criticism down in the comments. It's always appreciated as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.